This is Christy from birdmentor.com where I teach advanced skills to beginning birders and thanks for joining me today. So in a couple of days we're expected to get some snow here and it got me thinking what do the birds do and how do they make it when the snows come? Which also leads me to another question I get asked quite a lot and that is when should we be feeding the birds? Now that's a controversial topic because just about anyone I ask, they always give me a slightly different answer. Some people say, well, you should never feed them because they're wild animals and you'll either make them dependent or lazy. And other people say, well, of course you should feed them in the winter. And others say, well, only in the summer. <laughs> so I thought I would just take a couple moments today and add my two cents in on this topic. I recommend taking two factors into consideration. The first is the natural cycles of life. So ask yourself, what is the forest or the natural world already providing for the birds? And what do they need right now? Put yourself into their life for just a moment. We can think for a minute about the life cycles of a plant, for instance, right? In the spring and early summer, they're flowering. And then in the late summer and early fall, that's when they go to seed. Then you can ask yourself, how do the seed eating birds, for instance, relate to this natural cycle of plants? Well, most likely in the summertime, they probably have enough to eat. Whereas in the fall, I'm sorry, the, uh, the winter and early spring, it can be a bit more challenging. For instance, if this amazing field of grasses were covered in snow right now, even just a couple feet high, most of these grass seeds would be unavailable to the birds. There's just a couple that are sticking up high enough where they could actually um, have access to them. In addition, most of us know that birds migrate in the fall and spring, which can be really tough times of year as far as the weather goes. You can have an early um, fall storm or a late spring storm, and the temp temperatures can fluctuate quite a bit. In fact, here in Colorado, we can get snow all the way through April. Then the second factor to consider is, is it beneficial and for whom? And within that, the question I always ask myself is, what do the birds need? So generally in tougher times, a little support from us probably could go a long way. Many insect eaters turn to seed in the winter time. So offering them really good quality local native seed is a wonderful thing for them. Now, the next question you can ask yourself related to all of this is what do you need? Now, I know a number of birders who just find absolute pleasure and joy in watching birds come to their feeders in the summertime. So if this is you and you do choose to leave your feeders up in the summertime, just take a couple of things into consideration. The first is please be sure to clean your feeders really well on a regular basis. There are a number of contagious diseases that get spread at the feeders because number one, the feeders are a place, it's an unnatural setting for birds and many species come into contact that ordinarily wouldn't come that close to one another. So these diseases spread very easily and all you have to do is just clean your feeders and it will really help them out. Another thing to keep in mind is that if you live in bear country like I do, it's really important to bring your feeders in at nighttime. And then also, if you are someone who prefers to keep wild birds wild, then something that you can do to help them out is to just create a simple, small, wild habitat in your own backyard. Like even just one well-placed tree can do a lot to bring many different kinds of species in to your yard. Um, so thank you everyone so much for joining me today. I wanna to thank the patient, um, flock of Canada geese behind me in the field there and um, please weigh in on this topic I'd love to know what you think you know what when is a good time to feed the birds let me know what your ideas are and if you're watching this on YouTube please like my channel if you are on Facebook or Twitter or any other social media service <laughs> go ahead and subscribe to my channel um, or you know click like on that um, that page and otherwise I will see you next week